Yes, it's me, Flying My Phantom. I am back again. Um, back in August last year, I did a video on uh, how to install a hacked Go 4 onto iOS using a program called Super Impactor. Unfortunately, uh, within about four or five months, Super Impactor stopped working. I tried contacting the guy who, who wrote it, no reply. Since then, people have been trying to find a way uh, to get it to work. And the tool's called Stedia Impactor, and it's available from stediaimpactor.com. Just download it, that's what you're going to need. There's also some other things you're going to need as well. I'm going to show them on the screen on a notepad. You're going to need a new Apple ID. I recommend using uh, this as a throwaway email address because you don't want to use your main one because you're going to need to enable something called two-factor authentication. Uh, to do that, go to appleid.apple.com and sign up. Uh, once done, sign into your Apple device with a new username and password and enable two-factor authentication. Uh, that's done in the settings. Um, bear in mind, this can be cancelled only within two weeks via the sign-up email, but as you're going to use it all the time, don't enable it on your main account because two-factor authentication is a pain in the backside. Uh, once you're done, go back to appleid.apple.com and sign in. Uh, once in there, head to security and go to the section called Generate an App Specific Password. Copy this one up, put it on your desktop. You're going to need that to install the app with. You're still going to need to go to djretroroms.info, the original link, which I'll put in the description box. Um, because there's a certain section towards the end you're going to need to follow. You're also going to need to be able to download... Uh, the actual DJI Go 4 version, which is at this link here, the Polybytes one. Click on that, and you'll find a link at the bottom for version 4.4.3.123 IPA. That's the only one that's proven to work so far. So now you've got everything downloaded. You've got your Cydia, you've got your key you generated earlier on, and you've got your IPA file. It's just a case of launch Cydia. First thing you want to do is revoke any certificates. Put in the email address you used earlier on to create the account with. Copy your key. Bear in mind I will be revoking this key after, so don't bother making copies of it. And then click OK. And then revoke one certificate. Once you've done that, all you need to do now is drag the IPA file onto there, and again, email address, password. Now before I hit OK, this will fail. Watch carefully, and this is because there's something you need to do that's quite important, and I'll cover it in the next step. So there you go, as you can see, Impact of XC stopped working. I expect that to happen, and there's a really, really simple fix for it. It took me a while to find it via Google, mind you. And the answer is to create a new user on your laptop or your PC. If you're a Windows 7, just create a standard admin user. If you're running Windows 10, the recommendation is to use, uh, create a user who has no Microsoft account. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to log off from this account here, and I'm going to log on with another account, and we'll do the exact same thing all over again. So as you can see, I'm now logged on with an account called iPad Test. I've already revoked all the certificates, etc. Just going to click OK on that. Put the password in. Click OK. And fingers crossed, this should work for us. There you go. The hacked DJI Go is now on your iPad or your iPhone, etc. Uh, you just go to the normal signing process, uh, adding the tweaks and so on, as per the documentation uh, in the link I've given in the description below. How long it lasts for, whether it's seven days or forever, I've got no idea. Um, but it only takes ten minutes to put it back on again. So if it does expire, just sit down, give yourself ten minutes and just put it back on your uh, iOS device. Right, that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and as always, fly safely.